This must be the jail of the future. Women aren't criminals, said the planners. They're sad, not bad. So London's old Holloway prison has been rebuilt as a secure hospital. Nearly ten years after the first inmates arrived, the philosophy has changed. This is very firmly a prison and with immense problems. The problems start with a shortage of prison officers, many of them away on court duties. Buildings are a confusion of corridors with worrying blind corners. Some cell blocks are closed down. The rest are overcrowded with prisoners locked in their cells most of the day. And these are mainly women on remand, still innocent in law. One of those times when they all seem to be egging each other on. Yeah. Going down to exercise, I mean, we're sending extra staff down with them. They're all sat standing in the middle of the corridor screaming, We shall not be moved. Really? I mean, the day went, we averted a couple of potentially nasty situations. Right. We were very noisy, very anti, mm. and en masse. It, it was quite frightening. It's interesting that we've got it? references here to the women actually saying we'll start again after supper and it's all going to happen today. This is all linked up with the association issue, isn't it? About lack of association. The governor wants us to look into it in view of what the wing cleaner told him yesterday about something more serious happening because obviously we want to avoid that, if mm. at all possible. Mm. And if we think it'll help, then certainly we can move Carol down to the segregation unit pending an investigation into what's been happening up here. I think what I'm going to do is get a restraint team up just in case, knowing what she can be like. Just pop to the door there and make sure if I all locked in. Is there anybody around there? I want somebody on that door to make absolutely sure that no one comes through it and up here. Yeah? yeah? We clear? Yeah. What's that on there for? That was by the design of the door to put in the thing that I just pushed the door. Right, just turn your radio off a second, I want to work with me. Just turn it off a second. Oh, so. <coughs> right. It's bad news. Bad news. You're fully aware of the problems we've had over the weekend on here. Yeah. The Governor is going to investigate the goings on. He will be interviewing a number of people over a period of time. In order to do that, we're going to have to move certain people down to I'm A1. I'm not moving. I'm not going. No way am I going down A1, girl. No way. No, well, just that have is right out of order, miss. No way am I going down A1. Well, just have a think about it. So you're telling me I'm going down A1? At this stage, I'm asking you to. I'm not going. I refuse. Well, the position is this, Carol, very simply. You take me down, then. So yeah, and that. nobody wants that, Carol. It's well, a pointless it's activity. The staff don't want it, you don't it's want it. There's no way I'm going down that way. Think about it carefully. Nobody wants this, Carol. Come on. Well, you're getting it. I've got right. in this room, and I'm not going nowhere. Look, right? no all reason. the governor wants to do is investigate it. Well, then right? you can come up in and Having and see the me. results of the investigation, you may well come back. Don't give me that, miss. I'm not going out of this room to go down I want for investigations. But, Carol, come on, be realistic. You no. know that if you don't come down you take me upon down. request... That's good enough. You take me down then, right? But we don't want to take you down. We record. want you to come down. You want a few minutes to think about it? Come on, Carol, whenever we've talked in the past and we've had one or two problems, you've been I am reasonable. Not Get out, please. 
We won't have time. You better get the biggest stuff. Come on. I'm not fucking. Flashpoints in Holloway are sudden and frequent. The incidents in this film all happened over a 10-day period. Flare-ups are usually quickly over, and then it's a return to a wary prison routine. What's that still doing up there? That. That poem, whatever it is. No, it's not on the wall. It is no, gone. it's not on the wall. It shouldn't be standing up, though, because it's blocking the wall. I want it removing. Let me remove it. What That's... is it? Can't remove it, isn't it? Lovely. Yeah. Why, are, why are the curtains drawn? Why are the curtains drawn? Are we keeping you awake? The curtains. Yeah. Nice and strong. Open the curtains. Let's have a bit of life in here. Thank you. Yeah. And all you need to improve on now is just your tidiness. Yes. Prayer book on the floor down there. It's good to see that you're reading your prayers in bed. Yeah, yeah. we always. But it, should... <laughs> it shouldn't be on the floor. As Governor, I've got to say that much of the tension in Holloway stems from the rising number of Roman prisoners coming from the courts and also the length of time that they're here before coming to trial. We locked up 350 women last night, and some were still locked out in police cells. The women at Holloway are generally not high security risks, but the buildings are badly designed, and this means that officers are worried, quite understandably, about safety and security to a much greater extent than perhaps in any other place. I don't know. Apparently there was a very heated argument. One woman through a jug of tea. It wasn't full. No. Um, the officer in charge went to try and prevent it turning into a fight, which it looked like it was. She got hold of the arm of the inmate. The inmate turned and put the arm round her throat, so had the officer round her neck. Fortunately, there was only one officer with her. Another inmate came to the rescue, our blue band, and she, yes. uh, she helped the officer in getting the woman back in her cell. Yeah, well, it got out of hand in there. Uh, this little one here is pregnant, and I just didn't like to see anybody get hurt, so I just went in. Yeah, well, thanks very them. much. Well, thanks. thanks. You all right? Yeah. You all right, Brenda? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. Take more than her. <laughs> the prison has a special unit for seven mothers, with babies allowed to stay only till they're nine months old. It also has 12 places for pregnant women who give birth in an outside hospital. Other pregnant women are housed throughout the jail. All right, you're too noisy. Can you tell him when he gets older? That he's that he's I might do. Yeah. When he's old enough. Yeah. <laughs> Can't do this now. What are you in here for? Check. How much was it? 335. And then you could... Yeah, but when I went to court and they mentioned that I was pregnant, the judge just didn't give a... F you know, didn't give a sod. He just took me and he said, oh, you probably got pregnant on purpose to yeah. get off of a lighter sentence. But he said, no, I'm, so I'm going to remind you. Like, All right. I oh, know, they don't care. Well, it's 
It's going so big, that Simon. Yeah, simple Simon. Tomorrow is going out for the day. Oh, just for the day. To prepare them for the home. Uh -huh. So, let me see. I have a baby. It's a lot better, isn't it? In here. Well, at least when you go in hospital, you do get decent meals. Not like that. Holloway's most controversial wing is horrifyingly nicknamed by the other prisoners the Muppet House. It's the psychiatric unit, C1. She's ordinary, isn't she? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, one's in the far door. Yes. And what's the name on the right? Yeah, okay then. Most of the inmates are held for medical reports before their trials. Often they're too disturbed for a normal prison wing, but not considered disturbed enough for a secure hospital. The women of C1 are under medical care, but still subject to prison rules and discipline. Miss Davis! I've finished! Really? We'll be in a minute. Milk in it. There's milk and sugar in it. There's not enough milk in here. There's not enough sugar. Fair enough. You can have it out the window if you want. You've got your fag. What? You've got your fag. No, I'm not fag. You've got your own? I have them. I have them. I have them. What's that for, Carol? I nearly got a wash. Well, what's wrong with you? Hey? Well, what's brought all this on? Oh, wow. That's prepared to get me stuff back after dinner. All been done with a hairbrush like that. But it's a damn shame these rooms have only just been modified and this is what the first occupant can do at it. But then by the same score, what they've actually done to them can only be better when you yeah. consider that that's been taken out across here. Yeah. And the seat's been turned round. Yeah. At least so they can't hide down this corner like they used to do. Yeah. Which is when we could never see them. I mean, they could be in strict conditions, but I've seen it done where the strip dress has actually just been put round the neck. And the other bit's been hung over the tap, and, the tap. and then they've sat down. Yeah. Now, that worries me a bit, actually. There's a nice headbanger bit there. See what yeah, I mean? but whatever we do at these rooms, they're going to find something to bang their heads on if that's True, what they yeah. want to the do. The problem with these windows is, is that strut up there as you push it open. That, that's it. That's where they tie up round there. Yeah. Of course, you weren't down here then. It was just after Christmas. Um, Mark sent her up on the fours. Yeah. They checked her. And at one turn, I found there was something tied around her neck, so they took that off and requested strips and were told, no, she didn't need it, she was just attention-seeking. The next thing they know, she's tied, I think it was a shirt or a jumper, round there, got it round her neck. She may have slipped, she may have dropped, we don't know. And the outcome was she died. Uh, yeah, they, they couldn't resuscitate when she actually died. Uh, but it's not the first time that we've only... I mean, time and time again, we've stopped them. And the one time you're not there that split second, 
it happens. It's it, you know, it's like that. Same as I don't know if you remember the one that dug her eye up. Yeah, I do. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they'd just given her a tea, turned away, turned back, and she'd done it. And that was just using her finger and out. Yeah. The inquest verdict on the woman who died was devastating. The death was an accident, but due to lack of care. It led to renewed calls for C1 to be closed down because of the inadequate conditions. She's going to see Dr. Berry this morning, right? And we'll be, we should be able to give you bedding back before dinner. When you've seen Dr. Berry. All right. You can ask him, yeah. yeah. All right. You, you ask him when you see him this morning. And whatever he says you can have, we'll give you back. I'll see you later. When you see the doctor. This last two weeks, she's smashed three mites in a cell. Uh, she's been on report. She's lost her um, pay. She's lost her pay. Found a pound yesterday uh, for smashing another ceiling light. We've left her without a light. I haven't had it done yet. And to my way of thinking, Connie is just going to get worse every time she goes out. And mm, every crime she commits is going to be more serious than the one before. Really, until she's we actually crying for help, isn't she? she? Is, as yeah. much as anything. She and I think her behaviour has sorry. just got so much worse quite recently. Yeah. I mean, we've but seen I think this is all part of the same pattern, isn't it? We've seen it before. She'll end up with the ultimate. I mean, you know, well, they've been in not. and out, in I and out. And we all know what the ultimate is yeah. in the way of but crime. Well, she's just one of these, though, that can't exist outside, can she? She never lasts more than a week. I think she's no fixed abode as well, which doesn't help. You're on it, I'm not going to let people touch my hair, you know. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> right up. Right, all the way up. Oh, is it going? Let me look like a Chinese woman like my mum used to. <laughs> this is one of your bandages, no? No. No. <laughs> yeah. Table points. Yeah. What have you done there? What? Silver. These old ones? Yeah, but last night I put glass in that one. The nurses were winding me up, one of the nurses. How? What was the Because she won't make me a drink because I don't drink tea. And she won't make me a drink. Are you going to nurse to you? Yeah. What are you going to do there? don't know. Nothing. 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 Yeah. Cut this morning. Can I have it trimmed? Yeah. Tie it up a bit? Yeah. You're going to wash it? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I've been in and out for the way since the age of 15 and I've been in children's homes for running away from my mother and father and the first time I got into trouble was the age of 15 it's when I set fire from the lodger's bedroom in my mum's house and I've been picked up for theft and burglary and then a couple of years back, I started setting fire to toilets and shops. Well, I've been here nearly four months now, and I'm in for arson at Bickley Railway Station. And it was £250,000 worth of damage. And my solicitor told me that they've got a bed for me on my side and that when I go there, I'll be under section 3741, under the Home Office. And when I saw the doctors there, they told me that I'll probably be under medication and uh, they're going to have meetings with me to talk with me to see why I've set fire. And when you've been there a couple of months, you're allowed out shopping and swimming.
my size special hospital. If I don't go there, then I'll probably get life here. I don't think I could do life in here. Making it do me in, cut up every day. Cut my arms if I don't would. That one, I broke my light the other night and I cut my arm open with the glass because we don't get out very much for association. It just eases the anger out because I get angry and we don't come out. But when I'm cutting, it just goes numb. I don't feel it. What about Connie? Connie's been better than normal. She seems to have settled down here better than when she was on ordinary. Fair enough, she's broken a few lights, but she's not been in as much trouble as she would have been. She stopped me this morning to ask about uh, where her remanded report had gone, and I couldn't remember which one that was. Yeah, it's... Um, I know which one it is. I mean, she's been on so many assault charges, yeah. I can't remember which Mr. one. Mr Quirry was dealing with this one. He was making further inquiries into oh, it. I see. Yeah. What have you done? Debbie's husband, Vincent, is also in jail for burglary. He's seeing his son for the first time. It's your daddy, Simon. It doesn't look very happy. Who's <laughs> <laughs> that? Hey, who's that? No. I think he's going to start crying. No, it's all right. What's new, lovely? Talk to him. 
long have I had a baby before in my life? Look small. It's taking them enough in it. I know. Yeah. So what's it like? There it goes. It's got to be done, hasn't it? You look lovely. Thank you. <laughs> So you got skinny all over again. Mm -hmm. No, I'm still fat. It's going there. Isn't it? Eh? Thursday next week, isn't it? Yeah. So tell me about Wandsworth. Wandsworth? Oh, God. <laughs> Nothing to say, that. it's a pretty grim place. 23 hours a day. Mind your dog. Well, I've done it before, I can handle it. I just need you coming up and seeing me. Oh, really? Oh, really? Yeah. With you this are. one? Mm. So, uh, everything's changed now, has it? Yeah. No more of the past. No. see you today so that's why I'm here mm -hmm. yeah. anything you want to ask me do sit down no, really. well you asked me why you are locked in the room yeah well it's nothing to do with the AIDS this time because the wound is healed you yeah. know when you were out three days ago on exercise all the women knew from the paper not from the staff why you were here and they're mm -hmm. all worried yeah. So for your own protection, we decided you should remain in your room for a while, for all these things to calm down. Then yeah. we will decide when you can mix with them again. Because if we allow you out, if you don't want any fight, they are likely to pick fight with you. And you know, what is dangerous at the moment is your blood, not you. And we don't want you to drop any more blood. Have you heard from your mom yet? No. Why didn't you write to her to put her mind at rest? Because, and with the paper saying it's AIDS, well, my mum was going to think I'm dying and all that. I mean, it's just an antibody virus, I've got. Yes. It's no actual AIDS. Yes. The paper made out that it was AIDS mm. and that I was dying and that. Mm. But uh, it's only one out of ten could die with it. Yeah, yeah. And only we catch it through blood. Yeah. yeah. Needles and that. Yeah. When did you know you have it anyway? When did you know you actually has the antibody? Who told you? Uh, I was in a, a prison in Scotland and I got a blood test because they would give most of the drug addicts blood tests up there now. <laughs> Single room for uh, 
the last two is China and they're about they only be four. Is it possible they've got a room out of action here and it says bar and pain missing? Now I've no doubt it's on the list of priorities, but how high is it? Yes, it is. I don't care what you do as long as I can have these singles rooms. Just do something, yeah? Okay. And I want it like yesterday. Thank you. Thank you very much. B4, Mrs. Clifford's here. Thank you very much, Colin. Bye. Two minutes. Oh, lovely. Thank you. Thanks, Chief. Um, so whilst... Um, she's how, how is she at the moment? She's OK for ten minutes. Yeah. OK. easy, but it'll help keep them tight. We'll be working these muscles as well at the same time as getting them through. Now, come on. On your backs, let's have a go. Come on, that's only half. Why are you going to the half? Let's go! The modern swimming pool and the education block lie idle most days because of the shortage of prison officers to escort inmates. Despite these problems, there are plans for the future to open the closed cell blocks to take in up to 500 women. And the Home Office has promised that a new and more spacious psychiatric unit will be built in the grounds eventually to replace C1. as long as you want, Pepper, please. Sister's going to take it out, yeah? Please, Julie. It'll go funny. We'll talk to you, Julie, but you have to get that out. You can't leave it there. Good that was very silly of you. Oh, Julie, why do you do this, Pet? We'll talk to you. Please don't do things like that. All right, love, what do you? Come on. Please don't do things like that. Have you got any more pins in there? Truth? Have you got any more pins in there, Julie? Is that the truth? Is that the truth? All right, love, OK. Come on. Hmm? I know you do that. Good morning, Connie. 
Earlier today, you were given this notice of report, which indicates the charge which has been made against you. Is that correct? You were also given this document, which explains the procedure for this adjudication this morning. Is that correct? Yeah. Do you understand that procedure? Yeah. You do. This is a remanded charge of assault on Nos Peters. Now, during the course of that adjudication, you made a, an accusation that Nos Peters had struck you back following your assault on her. And this has been investigated by Mr. Brown, the Assistant Governor. And the conclusions are that there is no evidence to support your accusation that Nurse Peters did assault you, but that you were obviously cross about the incident and you put the case that Nurse Peters assaulted you uh, as an excuse for your behaviour. Well, on the basis of the evidence which I've heard in your own plea, I find that the charge is proved. And in this case, you are in fact unsentenced. The award will be that you will forfeit seven days remission, which will be prospective. Do you understand what that means? Yes. yes. Okay, thank you very much. Come on, Food. You eat it. Was it two puddings yesterday? <laughs> I was hungry yesterday. Yeah. See you later. See ya. Five minutes, everybody's no, in. No! No! Okay. Don't believe me. I don't believe you. Listen, listen, listen. Have you said sorry to the others? Oh, yeah. She has got blood on her shirt. It's more blood she's got on her shirt. That's why. Hey? Eh? Yeah. You can't help it. Yeah, but Connie will do it every time. No, I haven't. Not every time. Not all of them. I've been down here. You won't see. Well, how come people get out of Every time you blow, people get out No, I've not blown it. I've been down here when I've been blown. Only when you said that I made a false statement, which I know for a fact that I never. It's truth, though. I don't know and believe me when I say it. I always believe the other people. The baby's downstairs already. She's going with you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah she'll be down receptions then. Yeah. 